with my engineers. So with that advice in mind, please welcome Peter Hortensis. Thanks, YY. Device innovation is our foundation, our DNA, our heritage, and it sets up our vision for our technology in the future. And while we have a long history of innovation, the fact is that engineering isn't what it used to be. We find inspiration everywhere. For example, looking at an owl wing to build a very silent fan, or by constantly testing, burning, soaking, and dropping, and just generally mangling our devices in the lab. Of course, our customers torture tests too. Over the years, we've seen what they can do to our ThinkPads, which have been crushed by cars and burned in fires and thrown out of more than a few office windows. They've kept working. Now we're starting to see what customers do to our phones. Mainly, they drop them. They drop them a lot. And this gave us an idea. What about a screen that won't break? So, here's my phone. And it just keeps working, if I didn't touch the screen. Now, that works for me, but honestly, I think it could be a little more impressive. I'm not that impressed. How about we do it from a little bit higher, just in case you're a little bit taller than I am? Well, we're waiting for our demo of it being a little bit higher and taller. I can hear him coming. He's running up the ladder. And there he is. Thanks, Ashton. <laughs> And of course, it's still working. In fact, you can throw it on the ground and it'll still work. Now, working with our customers gives us a lot of new ideas. They like laptops, they like tablets, but they don't like carrying so many devices. So they inspired us to create Yoga, a laptop that transforms into a tablet. Customer inspiration leads to reinvention of something that seems so simple, the hinge. Now, I'm a geek, and I think coming up with new hinges is fun. But you know what's more fun? Coming up with a way to make the hinge disappear. This is one of my favorite new toys. And to help me show it is one of my favorite new friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my, great, my guest concept demo presenter and YouTube superstar, Megan McCarthy. Peter, thank you for such a nice intro. I'm not used to seeing myself on such a big screen, but I kind of like it. And <laughs> thank you for letting me use your new technology. As you can tell, I am wearing a super cute dress today, but it doesn't have any pockets. So where am I supposed to put my phone? I can just wear it. <laughs> and I've gotten to play with this new tablet. I've been looking at pictures of adorable kitties, but if I need to, I can fold it up and take super serious business calls. Or I can just open it back up and look at pictures of kitties again. Well, I think that's enough about kitties, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, what Megan showed us is what happens when you combine the latest and flexible screen technology with Lenovo's capability and know-how. It's partly about screen tech, no doubt. But even more for us, it's all about the technology underneath the screen. What else has to bend when the screen bends? The battery, the motherboard. How do we make sure it holds your sh its shape when you fold it back? A flexible screen doesn't help without a lot of other flexible parts. And it doesn't help when you can't see when it's folded. Those are Lenovo's innovations. Now, this isn't a product yet, but they're a sign of things to come. And you can check them out later in our demo area just over there. Thanks, Megan.
Thank you, Peter. I think I'm just going to hold on to these for now. Uh, my friends probably want to use them. Uh, could you be just a little bit careful? <laughs> they cost a little bit more than your average phone or tablet right now. <laughs> now, the physical device is just part of the story. Real innovation is also happening in how people interact with their devices. Last year, we talked a lot about natural user interfaces, like voice and pen, and how they're becoming more and more important. This fall, we'll announce a product that brings the vision of the most flexible of user interfaces that naturally connect to people and devices. Pen and paper interfaces that go beyond anything that you see today in digitization. Keyboards that don't necessarily act like traditional keyboards. In fact, there's a whole new species of device just from Lenovo. It's not something we're ready to launch here yet. We wanted to just give you a sneak peek. Stay tuned. Thank you, Peter. 